Ha! All the pretty females love a drug dealer. Mmm, not me. Ugh. Yeah, I know. I said all the pretty females. <laughs> she just walked straight into that. Like, come on. Hey everyone, my name is Jake and welcome to Murdered by Words, where we're going to be looking at people who get destroyed by words so bad that they, they can't respond. That's the whole, like, murdered thing. There's no death but they, they can't respond. It, it's good. Yeah, enjoy. Reminder that acne doesn't make you ugly. A heart full of hate does. Yeah, I'm sure I'd feel the same way if I was a skinny white girl with blue eyes and blonde hair. Wait, wait, wait. This girl posted a picture featuring her cystic acne uncovered, something that's extremely stigmatized in order to make a statement and spread positivity. That's it. That's all she did. She didn't say she was the face of people with acne or act like she has it harder than other people. She just shared a feature that I'm sure she's been shamed for and has struggled to love. She's literally 17 years old and you're 27. Stop being a douche to kids when they haven't done anything wrong. I just find it weird how people post that stuff, like replying with, oh, if I was, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, you're probably quite insecure. <laughs> Elizabeth Banks says, if Charlie's Angels bombs, it reinforces a stereotype in Hollywood that men don't go see women do action movies. Oh, that's right. I forgot that Kill Bill, Mad Max, Aliens, Terminator 2, The Force Awakens, Atomic Blonde, Soul, Mr. and Mrs. Smith, The Hunger Games, Tomb Raider, Rogue One, Underworld, Edge of Tomorrow, Charlie's Angels 2000, all bombed. Oh wait, I think it just uh, reinforces the fact that it was a bad movie. <laughs> girls I like versus girls that like me. Ah, uh, Denise Powers replies, Bruh, who said I liked you? <laughs> I love these words. People make like new accounts, take the picture, and then reply. They're, they're just always perfect. And this is coming from someone who didn't vote for Biden in the primary. I'm sure you've seen that Biden was not my preferred Democratic candidate, but I am happy to vote for him in the general election, and valuing experience does not make anyone an idiot. Oh, my reply would take far too long to show someone who hasn't seen what the older generation has seen. Young people haven't a clue as to what a progressive agenda will bring to our country. Step away from communism. Oh, with all due respect, I'm about to graduate with my PhD. I don't need any education from you. If you can't understand the difference between progressive and communism, maybe it's you who needs to do a little bit of reading. I don't want to get like political, although this is definitely political. I, I played a game called Destroy All Humans, if you played that, and it was so like based in America 1959 to 69, that, that era, and it was just like all the Americans were just like, you know what, that's communism. Everything was just communism. Something bad happened, it's communism. That, that's just how it was. Lumfow, how many die of the flu, or car accidents, or alcohol, cigarettes, drug overdose? This number is minuscule. Okay, flu, 20 to 50k. We have vaccines and medications. Car accidents, 30 to 40k. Seatbelts are mandatory, and there's all sorts of safety laws like speed limits and how cars are constructed. Alcohol, 85 to 90 gay, laws against underage drinking, public intoxication, drinking and driving, etc, etc. Drug overdose, 60 to 70 k. There is so many laws. All of them kill fewer people annually than COVID has killed in four months. And for all of them, we have tons of regulations and laws to address the problem. We always make laws to try and stop what is killing us. You know, always. Next time you want to make a point, maybe make one that doesn't make you look like an idiot. <laughs> Isn't it close to like one million now? Like, that's not just one million the number, that's like one million people. Like, one million, that's a lot. Sparks fly for this hashtag M4 in exclusive Yas Marina Blue. Image by Jin Photos. Check that out. Ah, it looks pretty good. Audi replies, when you see it. Ah, I got the rings. Oh, we see it where we usually do. In the rear view mirror. Oh, yeah. Maybe that's what sparked the advertisement war from yesterday's video. Hmm. Why are private bathrooms, both in our homes and in commercial establishments, so much cleaner and less smelly than public bathrooms? Could it be because they are privately owned? Here in miniature, it's a test of private versus public ownership, i.e. capitalism versus socialism. Uh, 
Gas station bathrooms are privately owned. You're telling me those are cleaner than the publicly owned airport bathroom? Every day you say something dumber than the day before. It's starting to warp space time. <laughs> I don't want to be like weird or anything, but I'm pretty sure like the, the place of the bathroom, depending on if it's clean or not clean, all depends on if you clean it or you don't clean it. I don't think that has anything to do with private or public, it's just if someone can be bothered to clean it, or gets paid to clean it. Huh. <laughs> Fall Guy says, At Tim the Tapman, hey Tim, we just ranked all of our players by how well they are doing, and I thought you'd like to know that you aren't actually in last place. <gasps> There's one other account that's done worse than you, but it's actually a developer account that we use for testing AFK. So, yeah, you're technically still the worst player. <laughs> Ah, uh, can we get a black superhero that doesn't have black in their name? That would be cool. Kid Cudi wants a black superhero that doesn't have black in their name, okay. Uh, Cyborg, Steel, Signal, Batwing, Firestorm, John Jones slash Martian Manhunter, John Stewart slash Green Lantern, Simon Baz, the Green Lantern, Jessica Cruz, the Green Lantern, Kid Flash, Vixen, Static Shock, Storm, Bishop, Miles Morales or Spider-Man, Falcon, Power Man, Blade, War Machine, Ultimate Nick Fury, Nick Fury Jr. Need I go on? <laughs> I think there's probably a few here and there. Got Frozone as well, he's my favourite. Ooh, then you have an unorthodox method of practice, Elizabeth. I am both repulsed and intrigued. Ah, usually men have sex with me before saying that. <laughs> oh, uh, okay. Dolphins announced that they will have fans for their Week 2 home opener versus Buffalo. A maximum of 13,000 fans, 20% capacity will be allowed. All fans will be required to wear masks when not drinking and eating. Wait, so just normal attendance then? <laughs> like, against the teams, these are always just good. <laughs> If you're one of those people refusing to wear a mask because you're concerned about enough oxygen getting to your brain, don't worry, that ship has sailed. Yeah, real long ago, don't worry. <laughs> Huh, I'd rather watch Alinity kill her cat with something than watch your unoriginal content. Unoriginal? Number one, you stole that Alinity line from Leafy. Number two, you took your name, Big Yoshi, from Super Mario Bros. Fat Yoshi and Donkey's Big Yoshi. And number three, your profile pic is literally a meme template that you obviously did not make yourself. The unoriginal person is you, not me. I guess you should stick to watching Alinity on Twitch, because the content here requires the viewer to have a brain bigger than your one singular ball. <laughs> Oh, okay, yeah. I like it because the people that comment stuff like that definitely watch your videos, like, all the time. They, they watch this guy's videos and they're like, Psh, you're so unoriginal. It's like, okay, okay, you keep watching. If you feel stupid, just remember there are people depriving themselves of oxygen to protect them from a virus they're going to inject themselves with later. Fuh, yeah, what idiots. I did, wait, depriving of oxygen? How? Everybody is able to breathe just a tiny up more heavily to be able to breathe the right amount of oxygen to your body. And those who have a real medical condition that does not allow them to have a slightly more strong breathing, they should not go out of their homes during a respiratory disease pandemic in the first place. Injecting a virus, well, injecting a dead virus or even sometimes some surface components of the virus that will make your immune system believe there is a virus attack, it's like saying I have a cow in my house because you bought a steak at the butcher. You cannot say a live animal and a piece of meat are equal. You cannot say a virus and a vaccine are equal. <laughs> Don't even bother. There's only so much stupid that can be educated away. Yeah, there's, there's no going back. Like, they're already far gone. Look, this person's even quoting it with but really. Like, really? <laughs> Men can literally hold a door open and get called sexist. This is why I just don't hang out with people. Uh, no. It's just people not wanting to hang out with you. <laughs> I don't see the correlation there. You being called sexist and then not hanging out with people. Like, that, that's different things, right? <laughs> It's blaringly obvious that when leftists speak, every single point they make is about supporting the collective, the greater good. When I read the Constitution, I never once see anywhere in it protections for the greater good or the collective, but I see over and over and over again protections for the individual. 
Wait, we the people? <laughs> does, does we not mean more than one? Can someone please explain to me why every game I play of quads with randoms, every one of my teammates seems to be playing their first ever blackout game? Oh, this is very simple to explain. The system teams you up with people that are near the same skill level as you. For example, if you and your team are being massacred all the time by everyone, it's because you personally suck at the game. The other people are being matched up with people of their level, and they are absolutely murdering you and your team because you were terrible at the game. <laughs> I love this. I love when people go, oh, my teammates are bad. It's like, hmm, maybe if you've lost the past 10 games in a row, the teammates aren't the problem. <laughs> wow, you made it all the way to the end. You know what that means? Nothing! You just watch the whole thing. So you can click on screen and watch another one because you finished this one. So therefore, you can watch that one if you want. That's, that's fine. Thanks. <laughs>